Good morning, guys. Check, we are up nice and early. Got a little chem trail in this, I mean, a plane trail in the sky. But I want to show you guys this. If you get up early enough, the sunrise actually reflects in that building. How's it, guys? This morning, we are doing a little bit of oats in the pan, in the pot, and I've turned on the wrong stove. Let's try that again. How's it guys? We are just doing some oats in the pan, in the pot. Ah, oh, how did I screw it up twice? How's it guys? We have got some oats in a pot cooking on the stove for breakfast. I'm gonna share with you guys Sav's secret delicious morning oats recipe. And we've had this for like three mornings in a row. I haven't filmed it because Sav's been making it and I've actually just been working in bed or 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 or, or doing other stuff in bed. But but otherwise I've just been doing Weetabix or corn flukes for breakfast and you know when it comes to cereals it means you got to ingest a lot of milk which I feel like isn't actually the best thing because if you didn't know this all humans are actually supposed to develop an intolerancy for lactose after you go off the teat. <laughs> but so here is the secret recipe that you've all been waiting for since like 25 seconds ago. We've got oats or in French as they call them Oats. Is that what they call them? No. Sorry, in French they actually call them Falcon d'Avoine. Then we have une pomme. We have du canal, moule. Part of the recipe is that you want to get the apple in ASAP so that it softens up as the oats are cooking. Um, so I'll get to you in a bit. Apples are in there. So as I was saying, in the recipe, we've got avoine, we've got the canel, we've got the pom, and then we also just hoi in a spoon of pate d'arachide, peanut butter. Just bringing the oats up to a warm temperature, they're kind of splattering now, so I need more liquid, and a nice little touch, even though I already just <coughs> on milk this morning, we're gonna add some milk, because it makes it nice and creamy. With cereal, you kind of get hungry much sooner and if you have something that is, uh, that is, oats are like low GI or whatever, so they release the energy slower, and it also just stops you getting hungry at like 10 when you've had breakfast at Hopper State. So, so the milk goes in, and then you want to get the cinnamon in early as well. Et voila, oh, open these goddamn blinds. Look at that, it's a beautiful day out there. As I was saying, we are now done with the oats. So I'm just gonna dish those up into two bowls. You can also garnish it with some more cannelle, but, we're not going to do that. And there we have it. Sav's secret oats recipe. How's it going there? <laughs> you guys might not know this about Sav, but Sav is a notoriously... I don't want to say messy. Like clumsy. Just not precise. Yeah, so clumsy, I guess. Clumsy eater. She actually has a jersey somewhere. I think it might be in the wash. Because literally every time she wears it, it attracts food. It's more just the jersey's fault than yours, though. All right, we are about to go return this curtain. As you can see, I've taken it down. I'll get to this package in a bit. Woo! We've still got a very beautiful day on our hands. Nice blue skies, only a few clouds. A lot of people like fast, hardcore bikes, but this is actually my perfect guy. Honda 125. Here we are. What is this center actually called? Le Passage. Oh, that's what it says on the door here. Yeah. First things first, let's go return this though. Zara home and we're coming at you. Making money. I just realized this is the second time we've been in Zara home and they've had a horrible cover of some pop song. All right, here we go. Zara men's section. Let's see what they've got left on sale. Oh, that jacket though. Look at that. What do you guys think? There's no ways I'd buy this right now, but I do kind of like it in terms of fitting the whole outfit. Guys, how handsome is Matt? Stop it. Stop it to you. Mm. Here are y'all. I don't know what bug has bitten me, but I really like these, you know, to go with my motorbike, a little red Honda, definitely. Also, this coat looks really nice. Haven't tried that one on, but this coat looks really nice. I think I really need a sort of, you know, oh no, I don't know about that. You don't like it? No, not, not a fan of that. But I really think I'm in need of like a 
smarter coat, you know, something. I wouldn't wear it with like these pants, but jeans and smart coat, brown shoes. That's very clever of them to put that on the mirror. Because <laughs> then if you take a photo, you have to get that. That's so clever. But excuse the guy in the change room next to me. He's just on a FaceTime to his wife or girlfriend. But Seth picked out a couple of things for me. I mean, I also choose my own clothes, don't worry, but I'm just trying on some different stuff. Checking out a new style, you know. This is nice, but I don't know. This one is a big no for me. <laughs> I feel like tea cozy. And this white one was just a sizing reference. Turns out I've officially graduated from medium to large. So what do you guys think of this little jacket? It is, as you can see in the mirror, it wasn't clever designed by them. This is actually flipped in the, in the mirror. It's reversible. So you've got this side. Then on the inside, this is the same jacket. You've got this kind of teddy coat, as they call it. And this is pretty cool, and it's on sale. What do you guys think? I like the collar on this, because that's nice to keep me nice and warm. All right, I think that is all for shop of Matt. Might go for this. Apologies. Hey, Sav. <laughs> You're not allowed in here. Apologies if this was not what you thought you were getting when I said we were going to Zara. But it's not what I thought we were getting either. So it was a sale, and I love a sale, so. So this is the reversible top inside out. This style is called like a teddy jacket, right? Because, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. I don't really know how I feel about it, but someone over there is absolutely in love with it. I think I might go for it because then I don't have to, like if you look, basically the reason that I'm going for it is because it's got the high collar, kind of like this one, but this one doesn't have like warm padding and insulation and it's a windbreaker when I want it to be. And Sav really loves it, so. Sav wanted to get me a Valentine's Day present, so we'll discuss off camera. After a little bit of clothing shopping, I'm being treated with some camera shopping. No, no? you're not you're not buying me a just a, we we just have a look. We just, just think about it. So I'm not sure if I said it in yesterday's video, but I was talking about how I'm thinking of getting a camera to just increase the quality of my vlogs. And at the moment, what I'm looking at is the RX100. I think this is the Mark I though. And this is the G7X Mark II. So I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that online. Um, and I might even look at buying one secondhand because I don't know if I wanna drop that much on a brand new camera. Secondhand with a guarantee, of course, obviously, for at least a year. But now, the other exciting stuff, I'm in the market for a wider lens. But again, I'd probably go for second hand or refurbished or something because camera equipment is just so expensive that I don't know if I want to spend so much money on it, you know. Shopping for tech stuff is always so hard because I love going into the store and having yeah, the physical experience, being able to pick up the thing and hold it and see it and test it out. But that's also where I like to shop for tech stuff online because you can see all the stats and everything and you can click and you can Google another web page and whatever and you can compare things. So haven't bought anything just yet. Hey ma, there's something in the back room. What are we doing for lunch, Sav? Baguette. French onion soup and yes, correct, baguette. So we have come to our boulanger. We're gonna get ourselves a baguette. They better have, yep, they've got freshies. There's our lunch. Soup a l'onion. All right, guys and girls, we are finally, finally, finally getting to that special moment that you guys have been waiting for since yesterday. What we are doing is we are finally dealing with this mystery package. What is in this package? What is the package? What's in the package, Matt? Hey, SP, what's in the package? What's the package, dude? Why does it say this is fragile? Why does it say this side up? What's the fragile contents? What are the fragile contents? We'll never know. Well, actually we will, because we're about to open it. I'll work on my creative package opening in the next one. Also, this is a big package. That's not easy. Oh. Do you guys know what it is yet? Have you figured it out? Ooh wee. Come on, you bastard. Are you guys ready to see my first ever photo book? Kidding, gotcha, it's not a photo book. Do you know any photo books that have cooling vents and cooling <laughs> ports on the bottom? No, you don't. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. 
Look at it. Look at it. I don't even want... <laughs> if it is not clear to you yet, I, I love computers. I love unwrapping things and I love computers, which means I love unwrapping computers the most. For those of you who don't know what this logo is, this is an Alienware laptop. This is my new editing machine. So, this laptop right here, this baby, it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to George Double B Ensign. George Benson, herder of Buffalo, Gio Benno 196, Big George, Little George, Long Neck, Giraffe. So this is one of his old laptops that he doesn't use anymore. How sweet is George, okay? He actually offered to give it to me when I explained to him that I was gonna be editing everything on my Mac and that I wasn't gonna be bringing my gaming PC over. I told him that I'd rather just borrow it. So a huge thank you to George. George. I know you watch my vlogs. I know you're watching this. First off, how's it, bro? Second of all, thank you so much, dude. For all of the people that are watching this that aren't George Benson, tell George Benson that he rocks in the comments below because this thing is gonna cut down my editing time. It is gonna help me in the production of these vlogs. So I think we all owe George a big old thank you. Huge thank you to Simon Scholes. He went through the effort to send this to me. So he also played a huge role in getting this guy over to me. I'm gonna link George and Simon in the description. Go click through to them and, and, and show them some appreciation and say thanks because they are assisting not only me, but they're assisting you guys in receiving the quality content that you so desire. At least I hope this is quality content. I don't know. I don't like to power up my own gaming laptop, you know. Okay, only issue is that we got one of them plugs, so I need to get one of my adapters. Looks like we're going to the Euros, boys. Unfortunately, I don't have the password, and George is asleep because it is 5 a.m. in Australia, where he is at the moment. <sighs> we will have to wait for George to wake up. So on the weekend, it's Sav's turn to do dinners. And she went down to the DMs. It goes down in the, it mm. goes down in the, anyway. She, oh, I remember the name. It's called Hamish, ha, 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 what's it called? Hashi Pamontier. That's it. Hashi, hash, Hashi Pamontier. Hashi, Hashi Pamontier. Hashi Pamontier. This is my jam. I'll tell you why I'm doing. Maybe. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what this is, this is a shepherd's pie. It is the best one in the world, hands down. I haven't tried them all, but I do know that it cannot get better than this. The reason why I haven't started yet is because Sam said it's too hot and I don't want to burn my mouth on the first bite and then ruin the rest of it, you know? Look at that. Mmm. <sighs> wow. So good. Oh, wow. When you're eating a smash and you just notice like garlic and butter mm. and butter and cream and mm. you're like, I don't even care. Mm.